is up everybody i'm star lord how are you guys doing i hope that you're having a good day i'm having a really good day it's early morning right well actually it's it's more like 1 p.m right now but I'm, i still feel tired like it's early morning and um, but anyway i hope that you all having a fantastic day and that you're really enjoying the new 8th gym update but as all of you guys know, with a new update, becomes stronger Pokemon, or comes stronger Pokemon. So, obviously, everyone you're battling now is, like, level 80, and it's really difficult sometimes to beat that kind of, those kind of Pokemons. So, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get easy level 100 Pokemon in Pokemon Brick Bronze. This is the best way on how to get level 100 Pokemon, so please stay tuned throughout the whole video, guys, and if it does help you and you do find it useful, please remember to leave a like on the video, as, you know, I appreciate it and you guys are awesome and um, and also go and check out the channel guys I've got so many videos that I've been uploading and a lot of them are really good I've got a lot of glitch videos coming very very soon to the poor deck update or not the poor deck update the eight gem update you guys know what I'm talking about um, but anyway let us get into this so here I am today in Pokemon Brick Rollins there's my little happy face I'm looking around like who's this lady here blah 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 um and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have um, our Pokemon that we want to level up to level 100. As you can see, I've got a couple right here. I've got my Gumi. I really need to level this Gumi up for a guide video. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to fly. And we're going to fly all the way to um, Port Deca. This is where we're going to go to, guys, to get the easy level 100 Pokemon. And someone just came here as I left. I feel so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't realize. Um... Okay, so once we're at Port Deca, we're gonna go towards this boat right here, and we're gonna turn right past this little dude, like, he's he's looking out there, he's like, One day I will find my Bidoof, and I love it very much. But, yeah, I, I stole this Bidoof, that's, that's the problem. And this guy's looking at a crate, and this lady's been standing here for around about five updates now, but yeah. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this root extender right here. We're gonna go past Sally, this is Sally, Sally, Sallyolite, I don't know, Sallyolite Sally. Light, Sally. <laughs> um, and we're gonna go to Deca. Deca Beach. This is the best place to go right now. Deca Beach is the best place to go for level 100 Pokemon. And um, for all of you guys who didn't actually know, I know there's a lot of newer players to Pokemon Brick Bronze. And if you didn't already know, guys, you can actually rebattle people in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And only certain people are actually a available to rebattle even. Only certain people are available to rebattle. And see this dude right here? I'm pretty sure it's this dude. Um, it's this dude right here, yeah. His name should be Beach Bum Joe. I'm pretty sure that's his name. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna battle him or we're going to rebattle him, okay, guys? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna just battle him. I'm gonna be like, come on, Joe. How you doing, bro? And um, this dude right here is the best person for EXP in Pokemon Brick Bronze. He is absolutely amazing. He does amazing, amazing EXP give out. Um, so basically, every time you battle this dude, he'll give you a whopping 7,528 EXP each time you battle him, guys. Now, that doesn't sound like much personally, but Jesus Christ, that is a lot. And when we actually have to battle the Elite Four, I'm assuming the next update will be the Elite Four, we're going to need some very high-level Pokemon, and they're going to need to be really, really good. Um, so that's what we need to do. We need to do this. Look, I got two Pokemon who already leveled up just from that one battle. Um, of course, that's not always going to happen, but, you know, still... It's pretty impressive, guys. It's pretty impressive. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go uh, Magical Leaf. This probably won't do anything at all. It's a terrible move, in my opinion, personally. Um, but, you know, it's a water Pokemon. We tried to do it. We, we, we You know, we're going to see what, what, we can, what we can do with it. So I'm going to Magical Leaf it. Um, but basically, I would actually uh, say to you guys, if you have a Charizard, a Charizard would be the perfect Pokemon for this battle. Um, because it'd just be easy to go through it. Uh, the only problem that you'd have is with the with the gold duck. But if you have like something like Dragon Claw or something like that on it, it should be fine. It should be absolutely fine. And I just realized this is psychic, so it won't do anything to it. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Well, still. Either way, I'll probably switch to a Charizard next time I battle. Uh, but we're gonna psycho cut it again. Okay. We're gonna psycho cut it. And there you go. So we've already beaten this dude's Pokemon. He only has three Pokemon and. I got a load of EXP for that, a, a serious amount of EXP, and then also, I'm pretty sure he gives you 1,000, yeah, he gives you 1,000, um, 1,000 Poké Dollars for winning, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the RTD, player search, and then we're gonna type in your username, so, 
Here's mine right now. Wait there, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Legendary star. Oh god, I I can't spell for anything. Let's see. L I spell it wrong again. Oh my god. Let me see. The legendary Star Lord. There you go. You can tell I only just woke up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to adventure and uh, we're gonna save the game really quickly, guys. And uh, as you can see, you will just join your same server again. And what you can actually do is pretty cool. You can just keep on battling Beach Bum Joe over and over again. And that's really cool. I think personally that's a pretty awesome thing to do. Um, Again, once again, I'm going to go and switch my Charizard, though. Oh, actually, no, I'll do my Salamance. So I'm going to switch over to the Salamance, and um, I'm going to battle this dude again. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to actually throw on an EXP thing, right? So this is only a little tiny bit of EXP, and I'm also going to, like, throw on a money thing, too, because, you know, why not? I've got the I've got the things for it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much we would actually get for this. So um, let's say, for example, you put on a 2 times EXP with this dude right here you would be getting over 15,000 exp per battle and that is serious amount that is like crazy crazy good amount of a uh, of exp to be honest dudes uh, so we're gonna flame throw with this dude let's see if we can take him out in one i think we can because a uh, violet plume's a uh, grass type pokemon right i'm pretty sure it's always been a grass type pokemon i love violet plume by the way it's probably one of my favorite pokemon of the first gen um, I never ever had one when I played the game because obviously like I saw like what gloom looked like and I was like Oh, this is gonna turn into a poop Pokemon and then like yeah, it just never turned into a violet plume Which looks amazing Um okay, so we got a Golduck and uh, let's see what happens with Dragon Claw this bad boy I'm hoping it'll be a one-shot kill Um and there you go literally if you have a Salamance or a Charizard or Dragonite this will be like the easiest battle for you guys, honestly. And like I said, it's 7,500 EXP each time you battle this dude. And what, you can battle him like multiple times within the hour. It would be insanely quick to get EXP. But currently, this is the best place to actually get EXP for your Pokemon. And this is definitely the place that all of you guys should be training right now to practice for the Elite Four. Now, once the Elite Four does come out... The obvious person to battle will be the Elite Four. That'll be the best place to get EXP and money and everything like that. Um, so, you know, that's that's pretty much like what you guys are going to want to do. Uh, let's see. Is Arx... Let's see. Is he in our game? Um, even if you get one of your friends to actually join your game or something like that, you can just keep on joining them over and over again. So, uh, let's see. Le uh, legendary Star Lord and uh, join again. Let's see. Uh, so yeah, I wish one of my friends were in here right now, but unfortunately they're not. And um, you could just keep on joining over and over and over again. It'd just be super simple to do personally. And um, yeah, I think that this is probably the best place to get the EXP, guys. So if this does help you out, please remember to let me know in the comment section below, because like. It's a lot of EXP, and it's a brand new update. I know this has been available since, like, the poor deck update, but I thought, you know what, I'll save it just in case there was a better person to battle in the new update. Unfortunately, there isn't for EXP, so, uh, you know, this is going to be the best one for now. This is probably the best you're going to get, guys. And like I said, you know, level 100 Pokemon, it's what we need to get. We definitely need level 100 Pokemon for the Elite Four. Uh, battles and stuff like that. So if you do end up using this guys, please send me a screenshot with your level 100 Pokemon in to my Twitter or something like that. I'd really love to see it. My Gumi is really, really getting like higher levels now and stuff like that. I can't wait until I can actually do a guide on how to how to evolve it and everything like that because it is a little bit different from the rest of the Pokemons that you, uh, that you have to evolve. So if you don't yet know how to evolve Gumi or, you know, the Gudra or whatever it's called, then make sure to go and check out my channel because it's Final Evolution is seriously an awesome Pokemon that a lot of people really like, actually. I, apparently, it's a good PvP Pokemon, so that's that's something, I guess. Um, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to be my last battle against this Executor here. We're going to poop its face off. There you go. Boom. I don't think so, Executor, with your silly face. And um, we're done, I think. There you go. And uh, my Gyarados grew to level 57, my Gumi to level 41. That is a lot of EXP for one battle. And uh, also with my, um... Oh! Gumi's evolving! Oh my god, well there you go, that's pretty cool. We're not that far away from actually doing our guide on how to evolve this next Pokemon into Gudra, I think. Or is this one called Gudra? I don't know. I always forget. 
Let's see. Oh, no, this is a Saligu. A Saligu evolves into a Gudra. Yeah, a Gudra. Uh, so I'm going to have a guide on how to do that very soon, guys. Please make sure to check on the channel because it is a pretty good guide. It'll be a very good guide. And, um, yeah, I hope, I wish you all the best with uh, level 100 Pokemons, guys. And, um, yeah, I guess just have a very awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.